In today's Entertainment City, Third Eye Blind delivers a semi charmed set as the band gets political. But first, Star Trek boldly goes beyond at its world premiere. Comic Con is the ultimate playground. I mean, I'm a geek at heart. I think I've always been a geek, so I'm following my true course. Fans saved Star Trek from cancellation back in the day. It seems poetic that we end up here on the 50th anniversary. And it was certainly a celebration worthy of a golden anniversary. Thousands of fans turned out to see the cast of Star Trek Beyond walk the red carpet for the film's world premiere, doubling as the launch of this year's San Diego Comic Con. The film has been earning a lot of positive buzz and making plenty of headlines since it was revealed Sulu will be the franchise's first openly gay character. If there's anything that Star Trek does best, it's, it's uh, making people feel included. And if there's one kid out there that feels less alone because their favorite Star Trek character is gay, then we've done our job and the people that don't like it just can, can stick away the sun don't shine. A similar message from a 90s rock band last night. No charm from Third Eye Blind as they trolled Republican concert goers during a charity concert in Cleveland. The show was in support of a nonprofit called Musicians on Call and not affiliated with the Republican National Convention, but it was a GOP heavy crowd. The band decided to make their political views known by mocking conservative views, expressing their support for LGBT rights and refusing to play their biggest hits. Even though they were booed by the crowd, Third Eye Blind is pleased with their performance. You can boo all you want, but I'm the mother artist up here. In a statement released after the show last night, the band says, quote, We let it be known that we were there to support musicians on call and that we in fact repudiate every last stitch of the RNC platform. <laughs> Congratulations are in order for this happy couple. Australian supermodel Miranda Kerr and her billionaire beau Evan Spiegel are engaged. Now, you may not know who Spiegel is, but it's quite likely you're familiar with the reason he's so wealthy. The 26-year-old is the co-founder and CEO of Snapchat. Kerr shared a snap of her classic but sizable diamond ring with the caption, I said yes, and a Bitmoji recreation of the proposal. Kerr, who is seven years Spiegel's senior, was previously married to actor Orlando Bloom, with whom she shares a son, Flynn. On to another new fiance, Pippa Middleton. Duchess Kate's little sis was spotted out jogging yesterday, still glowing after accepting her beau James Matthews proposal. And she couldn't quite conceal her massive new bling. We got the scoop on the bride to be's gem from Hello Canada's deputy editor, Susan Cotto. Pippa's engagement ring is a Asher cut diamond. Experts say that it's probably worth about 200,000 pounds, which is about 340 Canadian. Uh, so it's quite a big ring. It's similar to Kate's, but I think it has a little bit more of a modern wear with everything kind of piece. I am sure we will see Kate in the bridal party. She is a mother of two and she has a lot of responsibilities. So, you know, some people are saying maybe she won't be the maid of honor. I think that that would obviously be what Pippa and Kate would both want, though, is for Kate to be standing up there next to Pippa on her big day. The happy couple plans to tie the knot next year. For more details about them and that ring, check out this week's issue of Hello Canada. Canada on newsstands and your texture app now. And coming up tomorrow, we've got Terry's chat with the leading ladies of Ab Fab, and you can bet it is absolutely fabulous.